Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the Pi Launcher, which is a way to launch Python on Windows. Um, and without further ado, let's jump into it. <clears throat> oh, right. Windows. Of course, we're on Windows today. Um, so the Pi Launcher, there is also a Pi Launcher for Unix-like platforms, although I don't really see the value of it there, perhaps. But I don't know. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. Um, but since we're on Windows today, uh, I have <laughs> set this up. So what the Pi Launcher is, is it allows you to run Python by just typing Pi. Uh, and it does a little bit more than that. It also handles like the double click of Python files on Windows, as well as the default you know, opener and stuff like that. Uh, but you'll see when I run Pi, I get Python 3.9.0. And I don't always get that because I can select other versions by specifying their version on the command line. So if I do dash 3.7, you'll see that I get a particularly old Python 3.7.3. Um, <clears throat> and I can get other interpreters that way as well. And you can actually list all of them by doing Pi dash dash list. And so you can see I have these four different versions of Python installed on my computer. And the way the Pi Launcher kind of works is it looks for a particular key in the Windows registry and allows it to find a particular executable. Now, this is very different than how Python lookup works on Linux environments, because on Linux environments, they have been specified using this PEP394, um, which says how the Python commands appear on Windows or on, on POSIX machines. And that is that, you know, Python 3 gives you the default, I should do dash dash version, gives you the, you know, default Python 3, and you can also get more specific versions if you, you know, specify a more specific executable. Now, I thought that this was the full reason, <laughs> I thought this was the reason that this is, the Pi Launcher isn't implemented, is um, if I recall correctly on really old versions of Windows, it would see this as a file extension, and wouldn't try and run executables. So you couldn't really name an executable 3.9.exe. Um, this appears to no longer be the case. If I set up a virtual environment here, um, it seems that I can just name executables with dots in it and it works now. So that's not the reason that the Pi, Pi Launcher was made. However, uh, Windows has a very different setup for how its executables are installed. Uh, Cause you'll see you know, they end up in a scripts directory and I should be able to run pip 3.7 dash dash version. Oh, I need to activate. VM scripts activate pip 3.7. Yeah, like that that works. Um, so my I misremembered the uh, file extension thing. Uh, but the main reason that the Pi Launcher was created was because Windows does not have a concept of shebangs. Um, a shebang, I've done a video on it, I will link it in the description. Uh, but basically the way a shebang works is there's a special marker at the top of a file that tells the you know execution engine, the operating system essentially, uh, how to load a script file. And Windows doesn't have a concept of that. So there isn't really a way to say like, this is a Python 2 script, this is a Python 3 script, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> I'm a puppy and she's, I'm a puppy today and she's grumpy with me recording video, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so there's no concept of shebangs on Windows. So the Pi Launcher was created to parse shebangs and give a similar experience to how POSIX-like platforms work. Um, and uh, that was specified in PEP 397, uh, which is the Python launcher for Windows and talks more about there, more about that there and you know how, how to register stuff and the entire complicated specification because it turns out even that is is pretty complicated. Um, and the, yeah, and the other reason is on Windows, the Python executables are only installed as python.exe or pythonw.exe. So if I, you know, python.exe, this is going to pick whatever Python I have earliest in the path. And if I do Python 3.7, there's no Python 3.7 because Windows does not follow the same, um, installation layout as dictated in PEP 394. But anyway, that's the reason for the Pi Launcher on Windows. Hopefully you found this interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.